Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to guys, Zelda Mode. And today, boys, I'm about to show y'all the best own ball defensive settings y'all need to be running right now in NBA 2K24. Now, these are totally different from my previous videos, okay? And also, go to the Patreon, the link in the description. I'm about to do, I'm about to drop like two to three videos over there, so make sure y'all go check out the Patreon. I already got a lot of stuff on there to help you on win games, but I'm about to, sh I'm about to uh, drop some more stuff, okay? So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, follow me on all socials, and let's go ahead and get this video. So the first thing you want to do, okay, is when you load up a game of 2K24, you want to go down here to where it says features this menu first thing i want to show y'all because some people don't even know how to do this yet even though it's june they don't even know how to pull up the crossplay menu and basically just click both bumpers on your controller which is lb and rb just just click it bro and this is what pops up y'all see this this is what pops up bro this is literally um you know this is this is your crossplay list you see all these people this is crossplay these are people that's on playstation that i can't I mean that you can't play with uh play without uh y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what crossplay is bro okay now next thing is for the on ball settings is go to features okay and you want to go to it says controller settings i'm gonna do a separate controller settings video so don't worry about that i haven't did one in a while but see this defense assist strength right here y'all want this at 10 10 no higher than 15 but zero me personally i say five to ten zero to ten really but 15 is pushing it and the reason you only you don't want this high is because uh this basically boosts the ai which is the cpu to help you play defense and you don't want that and i'm gonna tell you boys why because when you're trying to guard say you're using Giannis and you're trying to guard brian 101 on the pick if the cpu is trying to go right they're going to try to go right uh like under the screen you're trying to go over the screen what tends to happen is your player is going to like freeze up and you're going to see your player slide and sliding is you don't want that sliding in 2k in, in any 2k is horrible especially trying to play on ball defense and it's not good i'm gonna try to have some clips of me playing on ball defense probably at the beginning of the video i'm not sure but let me go ahead now for the settings which our boys want to use i'm about to show you let's go ahead and go right here click this let's wait for it to uh load because i'm gonna show y'all if you if you um if you do play any 2k leagues or 2k my leagues y'all know most times they say own ball only no five out y'all know them leagues man money leagues that be having own ball only sometimes or no five out right what you want to do is anytime i play a wager match where it's own ball only these are my settings right here i never touch own ball pressure because it's all it's own ball only okay uh but off ball pressure this is the most key setting when you play own ball defense okay you want leave them all you want you want to run this this is literally the settings y'all want to your boys want to run leave them off bar pressure uh this doesn't really matter this right here because you're playing on bar defense okay uh now for the hedge uh i don't touch that either now for the post because on this when you do get a screen on with on bar defense you're allowed to click on the when somebody asks for a screen on uh on offense and you're on defense you're allowed to click on that the center or whoever the screen whoever's in the screen that defender and x switch to pick you're allowed to do that that's still on ball defense because it's a screen so if you do a switch curry onto like uh let's say you x switch, x switch curry onto evan mobley you're allowed to uh uh do that okay and with this post front it's going to help curry maybe he's not going to stop the mobley from scoring but if they try to throw the ball in the paint curry's going to be in front instead of trying to get behind mobley to get position to stop the post he's going to try to at least try to get the steal but if you don't get the steal it's going to be a basket so that's the only downside to it but i use front that's the way y'all boys want to go uh off ball screen yes run go over this is very key very very key um let me see screen yeah this is right here on ball when you run on ball make sure no help is on you don't want no help on all of these this is for current gen and make sure i believe this is encouraging no this is no it's not an encouraging but make sure you run this for uh no help no help no help okay now dribble handoff go over all these don't go over and transition defense no three because you only play own ball so you can only use her one person so not one person but whoever is in front of do with the ball you want to run no threes okay now the most important thing is individual says i say this every time but this is the most key thing okay when you're playing against uh when you own ball defense right and say you're playing against uh the bucks i mean not the bucks but the uh celtics right uh drew holiday he has a fast release, but it's hard to time, especially on Hall of Fame. So you can run, leave them defense on him, uh, for sure. You can run, even leave them defense. Derek White, that's another, that's a thing. 
you can't run leave them defense on Derek White. His jump shot is too easy and too fast to time. And you can't if you run leave them on him, he's gonna be bro, he's gonna be, bro, he's gonna dog you, bro. So you run the run. Me personally, I would only go moderate just in case. You know, not nothing too crazy. I wouldn't go tight because you still gotta play on ball defense. There's no off ball defense allowed. So moderate is the move. Jalen Brown, you can run gap defense on him. His jump shot is too slow. He isn't gonna be able to do anything, especially if it's on ball defense only. Now, Jason Tatum with him, you have to run tight. You got to run tight defense. As you have to. Like, tight off ball. His jump shot is too fast and too easy. His three ball is too high for you not to run tight. Now, for um for the next person, like Kershaw Spazingas, you can run leave them defense because this jump shot is kind of a set shot. So, you're kind of good with that. But the only thing is, you won't get a timing uh, against his shot because he is seven foot one or something like that. So... But you can still run leave them defense. Now, I'm going to show y'all boys why you run to run those settings right now. So right here, I'm going to let them get the tip off. Watch right here. First thing now, first thing you always want to do before the game start, so your players can go to their right matchup. Say you did uh, go to defense settings. Say you, say you put certain people on certain people. Like I put Davis Garden on Derek White, Donovan Mitchell on him. I put uh, Max Strews and I put, uh, say I put Jared Allen on him and then Mobley on him. Uh, on the tip off They're not going to get To the right matchup So what you got to do Is you got to press Half court press And then man to man So therefore Everybody get on their right people Now watch right here When I do get the scrape I can A switch it like this And then play on ball defense again So y'all boys see right here Look at the defense This is I'm telling y'all boys These are the best settings To run on ball uh, On ball settings Literally the best settings So watch right here boys Hold on Oh shoot, my fault, my fault, my fault. I'm holding eggs entirely too much. So, first thing y'all, bro, let's move. Okay, here we go. First thing y'all boys see, we get the uh, get the tip off, right? Now you see there, uh, Jared Allen is on uh, Porzingis, which he's not supposed to. But when I press half court press, you see how everybody get on a man on the right matchups. That's what y'all boys want. And then you, after you press half court press, make sure you press man to man because otherwise uh, it's gonna be messed up. So make sure you press man to man. But y'all boys see, watch Jared Allen. He's on Jason Tatum, right? And he gets the screen. Now, you see me um, individually try to go around the screen, which is go over. But then you see me click on Moby because you're on. Anytime somebody says on ball only, you're allowed to switch screens. You're allowed to off ball and switch screens. That's allowed. So don't let nobody tell you different. You can do that, okay? As long as you're just not off balling on Max Strews and he's going around the screen, then that's just wrong, okay? Now, uh, right, my, my boy Evan Moby right here All right, I'm going to A switch this Which is holding A And you see right there Which Porzingis I did A switch it kind of late I should have uh, did it a little bit earlier But look at now, Look at my defense right here boys I know Porzingis isn't the best dribbler Or anything But this is a CPU You know what I'm saying I, I'm right in front of him No sliding You don't see my Jared Allen sliding None Look at him bro There's no sliding I'm right in front of Porzingis That's exactly what y'all boys want And we get a contested shot And that's great defense Now Another thing is I want to show y'all um, Y'all see right here Now you see how these guys are like Kind of off of their player That's what y'all boys want Y'all want this when you're running on ball defense Because it's simple fact If say Jason Tatum did get a screen right And he denied it and went this way Went this way right And Jared Allen got stuck on the screen What I can do with uh, Donovan Mitchell is well, I mean what the CPU is going to do is Since I'm going to leave them defense He's going to Even though I have no help And no help defense on with them running leave them it's going to get still get a contest on his shot because he's so far away from drew holiday he can like basically play other uh defense somewhere else so these are the best settings y'all boys can run right now to get 24 for own ball defense make sure y'all like comment and subscribe go follow me on twitch link in the description and i'll see y'all in the next video peace